if you want to turn your faith from this to this, then you've come to the right place. In this video, I will show you everything you need to know to fix your thieves and turn them into tax collecting machines. I'll cover loyalty, security and prosperity, fully unlocking your thief's full potential. So let's dive in. So we'll start with a newly taken thief that has low loyalty and low level buildings. To be able to build anything, you will need more construction. To gain more construction, you have to raise your loyalty as construction is directly affected by loyalty. If your loyalty is 25 or below, then the thief will be at risk of rebellion. If you're inside of the thief, then it will never rebel. So if you have low loyalty, make sure you don't leave the thief. To raise a loyalty, the only thing you can do is cancel all building projects and activate festival and games. This will provide this much loyalty per day and will have to be run into around 50 loyalty. Then start building the fairgrounds. It says it will take this many days, but as it is building, your loyalty will decrease and in turn, so will your construction. So unfortunately, you'll have to keep switching between fairgrounds and festival and games to keep your construction up. Eventually, you'll finish level one of the fairgrounds when the first level of this project is complete, it will get easier and speed up the process of completing the next level. So keep switching from fairgrounds to festival and games until you've reached level three of fairgrounds. Now you shouldn't have any problems with losing loyalty or construction. Before we move on, some helpful tips that will make it easier. Hire a companion with the same culture as the thief and place them as the governor. This will give a bonus to loyalty. If they have 75 in leadership, 50 in riding, or 150 in bow, you can also give them these perks that raise loyalty by one per day. Some policies in your kingdom can also be helpful if they can be voted in. Forgiveness of debts will increase loyalty by two per day, and tribunes of the people will give one per day. So, now loyalty has been restored, the next thing to focus on is security. Security can be improved in a couple of different ways. Having high tier troops in your garrison will increase security, but also consumes a lot of food and wages. Walls are very good at providing security, but take a long time to build, especially if the thief is a new conquest. But militia is going to be your best bet. They require no wages and consume no food, basically free security. So to build up your militia is quite similar to loyalty. Activating train militia will increase militia production by three. Do this until the point where when you turn it off, you're still in a positive militia growth. Then start building the militia grounds. Once it's complete, switch back to train militia. Repeat this process until you've reached militia grounds level three and you should now have high security. Keep in mind that unfinished quests and bandit bases around the thief will decrease security. So make sure you complete nearby quests and clear out bandit bases around the area. Now onto the most important part. Prosperity, which basically translates to dinars. The higher your prosperity is, the more dinars your thief will make. So like security, prosperity can be increased in a number of ways. Building the aqueduct will directly increase prosperity. Building the orchard will provide food for the town, which increases the prosperity. And finally, village halves will increase prosperity gain by also providing food. So, to maximize prosperity, you'll need to upgrade all three. Start by building the orchard. This will provide food. Keep toggling irrigation on and off whilst building up your orchard to level 3. This will upgrade the villages to their maximum hearth output. Each village will be at maximum hearth output when they provide 18 food to your thief. Make sure you kill any looters in the area as when they capture your villagers, you will not only lose money, but will also decrease their halves. The best way to stop this from happening is to organize a small party, set them to defensive and let them roam around the area killing any looters in sight. Once the orchids are at level three, now you should focus on the aqueduct. Build this up to level three and it will add a flat prosperity gain to the total. Now, Keep pumping irrigation out until all villages are providing 18 food. 
Once they're all at max, switch to housing and wait until your prosperity hits maximum. Now your thief should be a tax collecting machine. I want to give a quick shout out to Ben Henthorn for coming up with a name for this special guy. And that name was Grumio, which I think fits him so well. And if you want to know how to start your very own kingdom and put your thieves to work, then watch this video here and I will show you how. Thanks for watching. Peace.